folks welcome back to the shop been a long time since I did a video probably a little over a year uh, so you know that I've had some neck issues had a uh, couple of surgeries first surgery didn't work uh, had a second three level fusion so the neck is fused up pretty good and that's that's what's had me out uh, just been convalescing and it's it's been a it's been a real nightmare. I can tell you that. Uh, life has changed for sure. But I'm six months post surgery, and I'm just kind of getting used to this the way it's going to be. Uh, chronic pain and loss of range and of motion. Still doing some physical therapy, but enough of all that belly aching. What I wanted to talk about is this uh, welding positioner. Uh, that I built a little bit at a time off of some plans that I got off the net and I'll, I'll put a link to the, the fella's site on there. A real good PDF drawing. Uh, took me a long time to do it. I was just something I was just tinkering with um, for a long time. It's just uh, slow going around the shop these days and doing anything and a lot of it is, is pure motivation. You know, when you have one of these life-altering events, it's real easy to get caught up in the, the situation of just not doing anything. Uh, you'll have a hundred plans and lots of things you can do, and then a the day goes by and you realize that you didn't do any of it. Uh, a lot of that comes from just having depression too. I mean, it's uh, it's a hell of a deal. Try to be more upbeat. What you hear in the background is uh, I've tried to get in some things that <clears throat> that wasn't as bad. Uh, some 3D printing. Uh, got a 3D printer, and 3D printing is pretty amazing. I mean, it can make a structure uh, and build its support. It can virtually build something out in space on a 3D printer, and by that mean, what I mean is it can build its foundation and support all these overhanging structures structures and deposit plastic or ABS or even uh, there's some metal filaments out there now but uh, it's really pretty amazing. Uh, let me show you this machine that's running over here right now. We'll go off hand. Uh, surprisingly enough this machine is under $300. I think it was $279, I believe, for this. Uh, this is a Delta printer. It's the AnyCubic Linear. It has linear rails on it instead of uh, pulleys, which, you know, if you know anything about uh, linear rails, they're much better than pulleys or anything like that. But at any rate, Let's move on to what we came to talk about, this welding positioner. All right, let me give you a look at this uh, welding positioner. Uh, the design is by Ryan Mueller, uh, or Muller, M-U-E-L-L-E-R. I'll put a link in the description. Um, but at any rate, it's, it's really a, a pretty neat design, and the plans allow you to change things as you need. You know, I, everything in a shop now is going to be on wheels for me to move it. There's a lot of uh, dowel rods laid around for me to reach and push buttons with instead of having to stretch out. But uh, use a servo motor, motor. Uh, just a, I think it's a NEMA 17 and just some square tubing and it's Arduino based so it uses an Arduino to uh, drive the motor and it has a little display as well and we have a uh, different uh, we got directions I don't have them labeled but that's one direction there <clears throat> and it's a little noisy something about servos but you got a speed control here 
And then of course all I have to do is hit direction change and it'll change. Very smooth. Or stop. Change directions. Back again. We'll ramp it down to. This is for TIG welding. You know, if you're welding something round or really makes for a pretty weld if you can get it going, get the right speed. Matter of fact, <clears throat> I made that weld after it was, when it was operational, I went ahead and finished that weld on there. Now, when I clamp on the, the ground clamp, you don't want the juice going through all the bearings and Basically, not to short out the electronics in a device. So I took this copper wire and it's really just jumper cable wire and, and put it on there. One of the plans I had was to uh, one of the plans I had was to take these brushes uh, out of a generator. And I was thinking about putting the brushes on there where it would, and then use that as a point of contact to put the the ground clamp on. But I just never got around to it. The wire seemed to work well enough. Uh, what we got over there? Oh, Zeke, still hanging out. So, back to the well positioner. As I work with Ryan on this, I built this, sent him some pictures. And we got to talking about how it's kind of difficult to adjust the speed while you're welding at the same time and so man this guy's really smart he came up with a foot pedal now the foot pedal is is a purchased item and what it is it's a uh, uh, potentiometer in there and it's a, it's a fixed in other words it doesn't spring back it, it stays wherever you put it at all right, so we added on a place to plug in, plug in the uh, the foot positioner. You flip the switch here, get your directions, and and then you can control it by the foot pedal. Wide open, back, slow. So if you was in the middle of welding something and you needed to increase the speed, you could just give it down with your foot. Or bring it almost to a complete crawl. Now this is not the latest firmware that I'm running on here. Uh, Ryan's made some updates to it. It requires a capacitor being installed in there. I'll open the box here in a minute and this is probably the most embarrassing part when you see the wires in there, but uh, at any rate, it is what it is. Something about a, a box really uh, is good at hiding, uh, hiding wiring. And, uh, of course, it's got that anything, if you've purchased a power supply or anything from China, it's got a it's got an unusual odor about it. It's not bad, it's just you can tell a lot of parts came from China. But it's got a motor controller in there. And to get the display, I used a 3M adhesive tape to uh, hold that on there. But basically, wired in a switch to run the foot pedal with. So that's what we got there. But this thing works really nice Man. but that's it this is basically just a short video to let folks know I'm still out here and uh, maybe I'll start feeling better and do some more videos if you want to see more 3d printing uh, let me know uh, on this particular printer also, if anybody has a, a surface grinder, uh, I made a couple of bids on eBay. A couple of uh, 
What the heck? Best offer. That's, that's where it is. You know where you make a best offer? Well, I had two folks accept the offer. So I ended up with two of these. And what it is, it's a radius dresser for your, uh, your grinding wheel on a surface grinder. So you can do a radius on the wheel, or if you want to do an angle, it'll also cut the angles on there as well. So, at any rate, if you're interested in this, I've got one for sale. Message me or something, and we'll uh, we'll talk about it. At any rate, here we go. We'll wrap this up. Zeke, did you want some food or anything? Huh? Want a treat? Talk to me. You hadn't had neck surgery, have you? <coughs> Not at all? <coughs> Would you like to have neck surgery? Huh? <coughs> what? <coughs> I'm making too much noise? <coughs> Alright buddy, here we go. Thanks folks, appreciate you watching. Subscribe, <coughs> Subscribe so Zeke can get some food. <coughs> That's right, here we go.